Hi guys, uh, Dilly Dilly. <laughs> well, uh, this story uh, is about me and uh, Barry. is from uh, 2019. Yeah, 2019. I think yeah, 2019. Uh, this is going to take place in uh, February, second week of February of uh, 2019. Yeah, I think 2018, or maybe 2018, probably 2018, yes, I think 2018, February 28, uh, February uh, 2018, um, and this involves uh, our trip to, our first trip to uh, Fort Lauderdale. I've been to Fort Lauderdale numerous times, and on this occasion, I was going to a uh, medical convention. And uh, I had already made arrangements to uh, to fly down there for the, for the week for the conference. So um, my wife said, "Well, why don't I take uh, Barry?" Um, and I said that was probably a good idea. Uh, he had just recently uh, lost his his wife, his beloved uh, Alicia. She was a great person, uh, a, a lovely lady. Uh, I uh, you know I. You know, she was family, and, and so uh, my wife thought it would probably be a good thing to take him along, uh, give him something to do, and you guys can chill and help him to decompress a little bit. And I said, uh, you know, I said, you know, wife, that's a good idea. So, so what we did, so we made arrangements, um, pre was arranged like we did before. <laughs> um, uh, he had a, a, a station wagon. Um, of, excuse me, minivan, of the Honda minivan, and uh, we would share the duties uh, driving down to Florida. And uh, uh, we said, and he's one hand. I I proposed this to him. We said, yeah, let's do this. <laughs> I said, okay, well, let's do this. So we made all the arrangements. We got the time off, and uh, so we were going to uh, do this whole thing. So uh, late night, about uh, t two a.m. in the morning. Uh, about two of them. We we uh, said okay, let's go. Let's get out something together. So I had to wait for him. <laughs> There's going to be another story later on about uh, Ocean City, <laughs> and so this time he came he came to pick me up because he lived on the east side of town. So he had to go through the tunnel in order to pick me up, which is about a half hour, and he was ready to go. And you know I had my stuff all ready to go. So boom, boom, we were gone. We were out. So, uh, so what we did, we you know we, we shared uh, the driving task, uh, about maybe f f two two and a half hours, three hours. So, and uh, you know, it was a really good road trip uh, going down. Uh, we got a chance to uh, do the things that we like to do. We listen to our music, which we love, because we both share the same type of likes and music. So you know, it was it was a good thing, uh, and. Uh, we got a chance to stop, and he he loves Cracker Barrel. That was his place, so we got a chance to go to Cracker Barrel because uh, he liked the, the country breakfasts and things like that. And my place is the Waffle House, and he likes the Waffle House too. So we were <laughs> we were in heaven, you know. We we stop, go get the gas, go to Waffle House, or go to. Uh, Cracker Barrel, you know, we were, I mean, that's our place. And, you know, it's, it, it, it's, the food's good. It's, it's expensive. So, you know, we were in heaven. <laughs> okay. Plus, uh, when we were younger, he wanted to be a truck driver. His father was a truck driver. So, you know, this is kind of like his thing. So, um, so we, we, you know, we got, we got, it's just this, we're talking about, uh, Fort Lauderdale. Okay. So, um, I'm in Maryland. So you're talking about between, you're talking about a 19, 15, about 15 hours flight. I mean, a two and a half hour flight. You're talking about 15 and a half hours of driving. Okay. Which I've done, um, on numerous occasions. I've, I've you know, so anyway, I'm just going to, I'm going to glaze on that. Cause that's going to take us to a rabbit hole. We're going to glaze on that. So, uh, so we got a chance to, uh, stop at, um, uh, everybody sees this on 95, 95, 85, 95, 95, 95, 95, I'm sorry, 85, 95, uh, it's, uh, uh, south of the border. 
side for the board. Everybody, <laughs> if you're traveling to New York or you're traveling down to two, <laughs> to florida everybody sees the pedro sign <laughs> everybody loves pedro <laughs> so we got a chance to stop at uh at uh south of the border uh, which you know it's it's old it's run down i mean <laughs> at one time but you know probably in the 70s you know it was it was probably the place to be at because you know a lot of people didn't have a lot of money and it was kind of like a truck stop type thing and you know people would go there and and but you know it's been a number of years and you can tell that the place is is old and run down. Um, people would go that way if you're going to uh, like Myrtle Beach and I've gone that way before. Uh, so you know so we got a chance to you know to, to go to go there and, and chill use the restroom that kind of thing i bought some items they have a good it's a good place to buy uh fireworks <laughs> i didn't buy any fireworks because it was february and i had no need of any fireworks so anyway continuing on we we headed on down to uh fort lauderdale and uh it was my turn to uh get the arrangements uh, and um, I found a place that it was uh, I can't remember the place if you follow me on, on Yelp it, it might be in there uh, the place uh, was in Fort Lauderdale it was sorry was it I think it was in, yeah Fort Lauderdale uh, Lauder Hill something like that it was some type of congressional convention center place uh, yeah, uh, and you know on, <laughs> or I think it was uh, I, uh, Hotels.com. I got. I, I looked at the price. The price was reasonable. You know, it had these great pictures, and they said it had a had a restaurant in there. And I was like, okay. And plus, it wasn't too far from the convention center where I was going to be at, so it, it was it was affordable. So when we got in to Fort Lauderdale, and we drove to the place. Uh, oh boy, this was this was hard. <laughs> this was a hard one. And I took the beating on this one. <laughs> yes, I took the beating for this. And, and he was right. He said, "This is a place. This is a this is a this is a heck hole." <laughs> okay. Uh, he beat me up about it. Uh, first of all, the place um, had to be built in the, in the '60s. Okay, it had not been updated since the '70s. The TV in there had not been updated since 1980. Okay, so we're talking about a rundown place. So I'm not sure how people would give four stars or give three stars to this place that was crummy. Okay, I think this was the this is the worst hotel I've ever been in <laughs> in, a, in a minute. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The the the, the restaurant had closed. Uh, they have lots of open space. Uh, when we got into the hotel room, there was mold on the ceiling. I'm like, oh, yo, we can't stay here because uh, there's mold. And I was like, so we called down to the the, the, the lady and she says, uh, I'm sorry, you know, we don't have any other rooms. You know, you just going to have to do, do what we can do. So we said, no. We want to be moved to another room. Y'all got to make arrangements for it. So they moved us to another room, which also had mold, but not as much mold. <laughs> I took the beating from this. And then on top of that, um, we would come in. And and, and, and and so one of the ladies who were cleaning our room, she let in a gecko. <laughs> oh, a lizard. What do they have rolling around there? And so, so we 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 were sleeping. Next thing you know, we woke up and there's a, there's a dad going to go in our room. I said, "What the hell is that?" He's like, "I don't know, but you got to get it out of here." So we had to chase down the gecko and let the gecko go back to nature. We didn't kill him, um, but we just escorted him out. <laughs> My goodness, that was funny. And then uh, so we. Yeah, we went to went uh, down to Fort Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale is a beautiful place. Um, I've been there, like I said, for several times. We went to a place called, uh, and this place is called. I'm 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 not being paid, but I got to say this place is called it's called Peter Pan, uh, Peter Pan Diner. It's it's um, it's it's a 
it's you can say it's like a diner, but the food is spectacular. I mean, we went there at least three times <laughs> in the whole week, and he thoroughly enjoyed that meal. I think I have pictures uh, from one of the times that um, that we went, and uh, I'm like, it's it's, it's it was delicious and. Uh, so, if you ever get a chance, if you're in Fort Lauderdale or if you're in Florida, or if you're near Miami, if you ever get a chance to, to, to check out that place, that place is, I mean, it's, it's not expensive, they have great food, people are very nice there, so, yeah, we had a good time. So, uh, when we, we drove around, and uh, we found a, a number of good places there, which we came back um, the, the second time you we went down there. Uh, and... Uh, coming back up we you know it was very uneventful um we had no problems the uh, the thing is that <laughs> i tend to drive a little bit more faster than he <laughs> he's like man slow down you get too close to the trucks <laughs> okay well I, t I said well okay you, you're right you're right this is not my vehicle and you're and you're perfectly right so i'm going to slow it down okay see i tend to have uh, a little bit of a heavy foot but uh, I'm my profession at one time. I was a, a professional uh, driver. I used to drive school buses. Used to drive a lot, a lot of big vehicles. So and so, I have a, I have at least over a million miles of driving. So and so, my my skills of 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 driving a vehicle are, are I would say are more superior than his, but. You know, he's a, a police officer and that kind of thing. So, uh, you know, plus it's his vehicle. So I did, as he said, so I did slow it down a little bit. You know, I, can't, you know, we were, I mean, I feel like we were creeping. <laughs> I was like, my goodness. <laughs> um, while we were there um, in, in, in Fort Lauderdale, uh, when I was on my convention stuff, he got a chance to you know, chill, sleep. He did some, he, he, I think he said he was going to, he brought his golf clubs down because, you know, he liked to golf. And he said, uh, you know, and I did go with him one time to, you know, check out some golf clubs. I mean, golf places, you know, municipal golf places. And these places, he said, the golf clubs places down here are fantastic. I mean, it's really nice, um, better than what we have up in, in Maryland. So, so we did have a great um, time there, and uh, um, we came back eventually. <laughs> and you know, it was snowing, but <laughs> I mean, we we left. Uh, Fort Lauderdale, it was like 80 degrees. I'm like, oh man, we gotta go all the way back up. <laughs> it was a chance, and, and so it, when we got up there, it was it was like it was like maybe like uh, two inches of snow. <laughs> we saw the as we left Fort South Florida, going up north, we we we, we felt the change of the, <laughs> the weather. So, yeah, so it, I mean, it was a great great trip. And you know, if if you have never driven to Florida before. Um, I would recommend that you do that at least once, uh, you know, drive down there. I mean, uh, you get a chance to, um, with the guy, high gas, gas prices now, you know, <laughs> but I would recommend you go down there. Um, even driving to, uh, we've driven down to, uh, Georgia to Atlanta for a, uh, one of our friends, he got married. Uh, we, we did a convoy, him, him and his wife, and we drove down to, uh, uh, to Georgia, to Atlanta, and that was a nice trip also. So, um, you know, get in the car and, and ride. <laughs> and so, but be, be be safe. Follow all traffic rules. Uh, don't want you guys getting any tickets or uh, having any foolishness. You know, just be cautious. So, definitely. So, that's going to uh, conclude this uh, this video. And I wish the best for you guys. A most prosperous week for you guys. And, um take the time to you know go out and um, enjoy the weather and no snow um, and um, you know to be thankful for what you have and and try to improve your lot so uh, I want to take this time to say I do value excuse me, I do appreciate you guys watching the video and it, it helps me uh, to remember my friend but also it gives me an opportunity to uh, at least impart some wisdom to you guys and 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 hopefully it make your day even better so anyway thank you very much uh for um you seen the video i'm not sure if anybody's watching this but i i'm going to say anyway thank you i do have a an affiliate page that's going to be attached and there's going to be a video 
on uh, that uh, a prior video that I have. If you had not seen it, or you might want to watch it again. Um, but thank you. Uh, so you guys take care and uh, dilly dilly. Live long and prosper. Okay.